Hey, what's going on guys? It's Patrick here. And I just wanted to hop on here really quickly and show you a cool problem that I thought was solved in a pretty creative way with clay. Um, this problem might not happen to you guys that often, if at all, but it uses clay in a creative enough way to where I thought it could still serve as inspiration for you. So that's pretty much the goal of this video is just to kind of break down the clay table and hope that you guys can pull something out of it. Um, so in this case, I was working with a client who was pretty much uh, a company that helped build API docs for companies that had APIs. And one of the founders noticed that if you just look up README on Google and use a couple search operators, you can pretty much return a giant list of companies that have API docs, which is their exact ICP. That's exactly who they're looking for. So he came to me and he's pretty much just said, hey, can you try to find a way to systematically find emails from these domains that I'm finding on Google um, that we can reach out to and ideally pitch on our company idea? Um, and the problem here was that they pretty much had no information about the company at all in these API docs. It was pretty much like they obviously had the company name, but a lot of the time they wouldn't even have the company website. It was literally just like a doc with you know, all their API information on it. Um, maybe actually I can just open up, I'll open up one of these docs really quickly so I can show you. Okay, so as you can see here, we are on RazorPay's API documentation and there's really nothing that you can, let's say systematically scrape and consistently get information from, from each one of these domains because each one of these documentation pages look a little different. They're all structured a little bit differently. And so there's really no way to just map out each page and, and systematically scrape them. Um, so the problem here was that we didn't have much information that we could really get out of these, at least in the way that you usually would with scraping a page. So pretty much after I realized that, I decided to just start playing around with a lot of the clay integrations and see if I could pull anything out of these domains. Um, so the first thing I did was scrape the website and try to find any sort of emails or social links or whatever to help me, you know, figure out like how on earth am I going to get emails from these domains? And I didn't get anything. The, the scrape website didn't really help me at all. So then next, what I decided to do was use an open AI script on all of these domains to pretty much determine at a best guess what company was associated with these API docs. So I said, using the following description and link, tell me what company you think the link is associated with. And I used the website description that I was able to scrape and the domain. So that was my next idea. And it returned at a pretty high accuracy, luckily. We were able to pretty much figure out what company was associated with each one of these docs using the description and um, the link that we got from obviously the search results. So after that, all I did was got that company name and I threw it into a search Google integration. And all I did was company name API. And I returned the first result that came with it. And we, we just assumed that the first result that we got from that search result was the API docs for that company. So after the search Google function returned all of the API docs, I was able to use OpenAI to get the base domain from each one of the API docs. So as you can see, all I did was just take out the doc section or whatever part um, of the, the domain wasn't needed. So after that, all I did was enrich the company using our LinkedIn integration. And I was able to find a ton more information about each one of these companies. This is kind of like the big breakthrough here, right? Like I was able to finally figure out like, okay, I found what the company is. Let's find some people associated with the company. So after I did that, I used the FIDE contacts at company integration. And I just used a couple different job titles that I thought would be associated with somebody in charge of the API. You could definitely do a lot better here. And I actually have since then used a lot more job titles that usually I'll plug it into OpenAI or something and I'll just ask it, hey, this is my problem that I'm trying to solve. What job title would be associated with solving this problem? And it'll give me a lot more extensive a list. But for this, I just use a few. After that, I was able to find some profiles. I enriched the first person from each search result and I found their work email. Um, so I just thought this was a really cool use case because we started with a bunch of domains that had no systematic scraping abilities. They had no contact information on them. All we really knew about them was the company name. And we only knew that part after we used OpenAI to help us out. So, um, and from there, we were able to pretty much find a bunch of emails that we can now reach out to. And they're incredibly qualified leads that would likely be interested in what my client has to offer. So hopefully this served as some sort of inspiration for future ideas that you guys can have in clay and feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Hopefully this was somewhat helpful to you guys. Appreciate it.